Aloha Keiki! Welcome back to the Home Gardening Network Homeschool Edition. Auntie T's back with another lesson. Today we're going to learn about angiosperms, the types of angiosperms, and how you can tell the differences. Are you ready? Let's begin! There are two types of angiosperms. And if you remember, angiosperms were flowering plants. The way we can look at the different types is by knowing the number of cotyledons. Do you remember what cotyledons are? Those seem to come up a lot. The cotyledons are the part of the seed that contains the seed's nutrients. And depending on the amount of cotyledons you have, that determines the type of angiosperm you have. The first type of angiosperm is called a monocotyledon. That's a really big word. So instead of calling it a monocotyledon, we'll call it a monocot. Mono means one. So this type of angiosperm has one cotyledon. And then the second type is called a dicotyledon. That's another big word. So instead, let's call that one dicots. Dicots have two cotyledons. Di means two, so we have two cotyledons. Now even though these are big words, we can easily tell the difference on angiosperms. We just have to look at the seeds, the leaves, or the flowers. The best way is to look inside the seed, but sometimes the seeds are too tiny and you can't see what's going on in there. So then you can look at the leaves. Plant leaves are vascular, which means that they have tubes inside of them that carry just like, let's see, what else is vascular? You are! You have veins in your body that carries blood all over your body, and that carries your nutrients as well. So similar to plants, humans are vascular. So when we look at the leaves of monocots and dicots, we want to look at their veins. The first type, the monocot, has veins that run parallel to each other. You can see here that this leaf, the veins are parallel. Parallel simply means that you have two lines that run side by side and do not touch. This is another example of a parallel vein. You can see this one is marked by the yellow and the green. This is a really good example to see. These are again monocots. They have parallel veins. The next type of leaf that you can look at is called a dicot leaf. And this one, the veins run off of the main midline. This midline has branches that come off of it, and that's how you can tell the difference between this one and this one, monocot and dicot. This one has the midline that branches, and this one has the parallel lines. The last way that we can tell the difference between monocots and dicots is by looking at the flowers. Monocots will have flowers in multiples of three. So we have one, two, three petals. There can also be six petals or nine petals, and that's how you can tell it is a monocot. When we compare this to dicots, dicots will have petals that are four or five. Do you see here? You have one, two, three, four, and five petals. So this is a dicot flower. Those are the three ways that we can tell the difference between the monocots and the dicots. So go outside, look in your yard. What kind of angiosperms do you see? Try and draw them or mark them down. That concludes today's lesson of the Home Garden Network Homeschool Edition. Thank you for joining us.